one, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week 91. We're glad to have you with us. The initials GT, which stand for Gran Turismo, or as we say in America, Grand Touring, are among the most misused of all automotive designations. GT emblems have adorned everything from econo boxes to pickup trucks. To us, GT should signify the ultimate combination of luxury, style, and speed. One car that defined the GT spirit best was the BMW 635i. Beautifully styled with loads of comfort and performance, it was a true long-distance runner. Well, now the 6 Series BMW is history, replaced by this new 850i. It's even more beautiful and has every creature comfort imaginable. But what about performance and the less easily defined attribute, character? It was the careful mingling of the two that made the 635i such a standout GT, something that the 850i's designers have not forgotten. There are some cars whose character stirs the soul, others with the technical complexity to challenge the intellect, and still others with luxury that pampers the body. With the 850i, BMW has attempted to assemble all of these traits into a GT that builds on and then eclipses the reputation of its 6 Series predecessors. There is a look of history in the 850i's design. Like the legendary M1 supercar of the late 70s, the 850i features a long sloping nose and pop-up headlamps. But from there on back are only the flowing curves dictated by modern aerodynamic demands. Subtle wheel arches flare out from the body to cover 7.5 inch, inch wide alloy wheels. They wear 235-50-16 Z-rated rubber. Behind the wheels is the beginnings of the 850i's mechanical complexity. The rear suspension is a new BMW multi-link design that reduces the car's reaction to sudden load changes and provides passive rear steering in hard corners. An electronic damping control system is optional. It automatically readjusts shock firmness according to road and driving conditions. The front suspension uses more conventional struts. It supports an engine bay that holds the 850i's 5-liter V12 engine. Despite its 296 horsepower output, the aluminum block unit, which also lives in the 750i L sedan, is the lightest V12 available in a production car. But different intake and exhaust tuning give it a slightly more aggressive sound than the sedan. Its 332 pound-feet of torque allows over two tons of BMW to reach 60 in 6.2 seconds. A quarter mile takes 14.9 seconds, ending at 100 miles per hour. For times when tremendous torque is not desirable, such as bad weather, the driver can switch on the optional traction control system. The system, called ACS Plus T, reduces throttle speed and even applies the rear brakes to improve traction. A handy thing to have considering the deceptive smoothness of the V12 engine. Power flows through a new six-speed manual gearbox. Both it and the clutch are the smoothest such units that we've yet encountered in a BMW. A four-speed automatic is available as a no-cost option. European sixth gear is perfect for cruising, even at our lower highway speeds. Downshift for passing, and the car surges forward like a cultured locomotive, its normally subtle engine note rising as slower traffic blurs by. The ride is firm but quiet. At American highway speeds, the cabin noise level remains very low at 64 decibels. That's thanks in part to the chassis's remarkable solidity and the unique system which automatically lowers and raises windows each time a door is opened for a better seal. On twistier roads, the 850i's two-ton weight is apparent. With the traction control system turned off, handling is nearly neutral. If used foolishly, the V12's substantial torque will quickly break the rear end loose. Used wisely, and it mates with the new rear suspension for impressive cornering control. With the traction control system turned on, limited power means car control is safe, but less precise. Of course, any car with sporting aspirations had better have good brakes. The 850i has excellent ones. The huge 12.8-inch disc and standard ABS yanking it down from 60 and only 108 feet. But for all its sporting abilities, the 850i does not skimp one iota on luxury. There's all the fine leather and comfort features that one expects in Germany's best. But the fluid interior design is a departure from the conservative shapes one usually finds in a BMW. The seats are the expected leather-covered buckets. Power adjustments include thigh and lumbar support. 
They combine with a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel to offer an easy driver fit. But the seat padding is German firm, which proved unpopular with some American backs on our staff. Seat heaters and memory are standard equipment. The 850i has front seat belts that are attached to the seats themselves, similar to the system used in the Mercedes-Benz 500 SL, a big safety and comfort improvement over normal belts. There's also a standard driver's side airbag. Gauges are large and very clear, but in the German tradition, surprisingly sparse. Luxury oriented or not, this is a performance car. Oil pressure and volt readouts, if you please. Nestled at the top center of the sloping dash is one of the most comprehensive trip computers that we've ever seen. Below that sits an easy to operate and very powerful cassette stereo. The controls also operate a multi-disc CD player which resides in the trunk for better security. The dual automatic climate controls are standard BMW style, and that means all but idiot proof. 850i buyers also get a standard cellular phone as part of the package. To say that rear seat room is tight in the 850i would be an understatement. And thanks to the minimal forward seat back movement, getting in or out is almost impossible for your average adult. And if you don't lock the backrest into position properly, the trip computer will tell you so. Trunk opening can be clumsy due to the odd vertical lock position. The opening requires you to slide rather than drop cargo in, but the space itself is quite generous. By this point, you're probably tired of details and aching to know the price of all this. So here it is. The 850i retails for $73,600. With its optional forged alloy wheels, traction control system, and automatic shock damping, our fully loaded test car goes for $77,570. That is less than a Mercedes-Benz 500 SL but more than just about everything else on the road. But considering the 850i's level of technology, that's not surprising. BMW's ultimate grand touring coupe is a rolling showcase for Bavaria's engineering talent. But unlike some sterile show car, it's also a machine that touches a driver on a more emotional level, while the tactile and visual senses are pleased by its luxury and styling. All in all, the 850i is a most impressive achievement that shows both how much BMW has learned and how much it remembers. The last 